morning. How's everyone doing? We woke up in where? We are in Puerto Rico. We're gonna show you where to go, what the best places are. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. We're gonna be walking around the coastline um, and going to El Moro, which is one of the most famous spots here in San Juan. And right behind me, you'll see the famous gate of San Juan. Now this was the entrance to the city um, when the fortress was built. So it's a really characteristic spot to see. So now we're at the San Juan National Historic Site, the Paseo del Moro. And this is a really awesome spot to come to because you can just walk along the coast and enjoy the fortress on your left here. After you finish walking around the passageway around uh, the fortress, there are a couple stairs you can see back here that lead you all the way up to El Moro. Quick little fact about El Moro was that it was built in the 16th century by the Spanish explorers. If you remember this guy named Ponce de Leon, yeah, he was responsible for all this stuff. They built it because they wanted to protect everything from the Dutch, the French, even the pirates. So it's a really cool piece of history to come and see. So we've been walking around San Juan uh, for a couple hours now and honestly I have to say it is such a lively, vibrant city. There's beautiful colors, people walking around enjoying their Sunday. So I'm just loving it. And now it's time for us to explore somewhere cool where the piña colada was invented. Let's go check it out. The owner told us that the, the biggest difference between the original piña colada and anywhere else in the world is that the rest of the world is gonna taste more like coconut, while here it's gonna taste more like pineapple. So that's how you can tell the difference. Salud! We both just had two piña coladas each. Those things are pretty dangerous. I couldn't so taste bad. the rum at all. Me neither. Ooh. And I and I finished both of mine. I never drink that much. She's a lightweight. And I'm a lightweight, so. So our first stop of the morning was this famous street, I'll put the name of it right here, where everyone comes to take that famous Instagram picture of the Puerto Rican flag. There's a little street right um, by El Convento Hotel that is a really great spot to take some videos, some pictures and such. I am in front of the famous street where there's usually Umbrellas. I think because of COVID, they blocked off the street. So if you're looking for that famous Instagram picture with the umbrellas, unfortunately, you won't be able to get it right now. One of our next stops of the day is actually at one of the best bars in the world. It is called La Factoria. It's here in Old San Juan. Um, I know it's a bit early. I think it's around 11:30 a.m. But you can't drink all day if you don't start in the morning. So. So this is the bar that Despacito was filmed in. We're about to enter and get our first cocktail. We're here at La Factoria, one of the top 50 bars in the world. Um, now this bar comprises of six different rooms. So when you come at nighttime, you can go from room to room and get different types of cocktails. But right now, because of the times that we're in, only the main room is open. But thanks to one of the bartenders, Ibel, he actually gave us a private tour of the rooms inside. So they're super famous for a select number of cocktails. Our favorite was the Lavender Mule. You have to have it. Thank you for coming. Enjoy your stay in Puerto Rico. And I hope to see you Thank back. You. We just spent the last maybe two hours at La Factoria. It was honestly the best spot here in Old San Juan. We had so much fun. So we just wrapped up. Our second day in San Juan, it was such an eventful day. We saw so many things. But tomorrow we are off on our next adventure. We're taking a little plane tomorrow. We're going to head to Culebra Island, and which is one of the best voted beaches in the world. We're gonna head to bed and we'll catch you on the next vlog.